All right, this is how you enter a new customer in top agent box when that customer has a pre-existing account. So for example here, we've got Joe and Lauren Ruma, and here's their information. As you can see, they bought a house in May of 2013. Well, now they're going to buy another house, and they are also going to be listing their house in the near future. So what we got to do is create client. We're not going to put master in. We're just going to say Ruma, Joe, and Lauren. And we're going to purchase. And this is where we're going to put their address in for the property that they are purchasing. And this is already under contract. We're going to put them in pending. And you'll notice I did not put their current address in here because that will later be their new address and then this will be called master thereafter. So we'll come back to that. I don't have to enter all of their phone numbers and everything right now to create a shell account, but there are some basic things that have to be entered. So this has to be entered. And this is for their purchase. I'll put a future follow-up date um, it's January 21st now, so I'll just put like tomorrow's date. And this is for the transaction coordinator, so it shows up on their top agent box. And then I'll just put in here shell account uh, for upcoming purchase. Next steps are to enter the critical dates for the contract that they have. So now when I go back to client search and I type in Ruma, I have two accounts. Now they're also going to be listing a house as well. So I'm gonna enter another one here. And I'm gonna call this uh, list. And this is for the house. And I just happen to remember this address. This is the house they bought back in 2013. And again, just got to put some basic stuff in here to create the shell account. And the account type is for a listing. And again, and I'll put in here shell account for their future listing and make sure it's a pending and hit save. Now if I go to client per or client search, type in Ruma, I can see here's the listing for Beatrice, here's the purchase for the house that they're buying, and then of course their original account which is listed as master for when they bought their house back in 2013.